Did you know that the tallest animal in the world sleeps standing up? Yes, that's right. We're talking about the giraffe. These fascinating creatures are the towering giants of the animal kingdom, reaching heights of up to 18 feet. That's almost as tall as a two-story house. This extraordinary height is not just for show. It serves a very practical purpose. You see, giraffes are like nature's very own skyscraper residents, using their lofty stature and long necks to munch on the leaves and shoots from the tallest trees. They particularly love to dine on acacia trees. While the rest of the animal kingdom is left to forage on the ground, giraffes can easily reach those high, juicy leaves that other animals can't. It's like they have their very own all-you-can-eat salad bar right at the treetops. So, the next time you're struggling to reach something high, just think of a giraffe. Now, you might be wondering, how can a giraffe hold up that long neck of theirs? Well, here's a fun fact. Despite their long necks, giraffes have the same number of neck vertebrae as us humans. That's right, just seven. But in giraffes, each one of these vertebrae is supersized, giving them their skyscraping height. And what about those long legs, you ask? Oh, they're not just for show. Giraffes can run as fast as 35 miles per hour over short distances. Imagine that. A giraffe could outrun a car in a school zone, and for longer journeys, they can comfortably cruise at 10 miles per hour. So next time you see a giraffe, remember, it's not just their long necks that are impressive. Their legs are quite the marvel too, helping them move with swiftness and grace. That's faster than your bike ride to school. So, what does the tallest animal on Earth eat for dinner? Well, giraffes are herbivores, which means they only eat plant-based foods. Their menu consists of leaves, fruits, and flowers with a particular fondness for acacia leaves. But here's a fun fact. Giraffes don't use their hands to eat because, well, they don't have hands. Instead, they use their long, dexterous tongues that can measure up to 18 inches long. Imagine that. It's like having a mini arm in your mouth. Their tongues are not just long, but also strong and flexible, perfectly designed to grasp and pull leaves from the highest branches. This unique adaptation allows them to feed on treetops that other animals can't reach, giving them a distinct advantage in the wild. So next time you're struggling with your salad fork, just think about how easy giraffes have it. Who needs a salad fork when you have a long tongue like a giraffe, right? Where do you think these tall creatures live? Well, giraffes call the savannas, grasslands, and open woodlands of Africa their home. Imagine endless open spaces dotted with acacia trees, the sun beating down, and a tower of giraffes gracefully moving across the landscape. Yes, you heard right. A group of giraffes is called a tower, quite fitting, don't you think? These towers aren't just for show, they serve an important purpose. Giraffes are social animals, they band together in these groups for protection. Much like how we humans enjoy the company of friends and family, giraffes too find comfort in numbers. They keep an eye out for each other, warning their tower if a sneaky lion or other predator is nearby. So although giraffes might be the tallest mammals on earth, reaching up to the treetops with ease, they still need their friends. It's a reminder that everyone needs a little help sometimes, no matter how tall or short we are. So even the tallest animals on earth need friends too. Did you know that every giraffe has a unique set of spots? Just like our fingerprints, no two giraffes have the same pattern. Their beautiful, intricate spots are as unique as snowflakes, making each giraffe a one-of-a-kind work of nature's art. These patterns aren't just for show, though. They help giraffes blend into their surroundings, camouflaging them among the dappled sunlight and brush of their habitats. But here's a sobering fact. Giraffes are now classified as vulnerable. Habitat loss, poaching, and other factors are pushing these magnificent creatures towards the brink of extinction. Their populations are dwindling in the wild, making every unique pattern even more precious. So, what can we do? We can learn, we can care, and we can take action. We can support conservation efforts to protect their habitats. We can raise awareness about the threats they face. Can you imagine a world without these tall, unique, and beautiful creatures? What can we do to help protect them?